Yeah, hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on row count transformations. This is one of the transformations in uh, data flow task in SSS package. So how to get uh, number of records that is there in Excel sheet or in any source file using this row count transformation in the package. So what it really does, row count reads the records from the source document and stores the number in a variable that we are, we are going to be created at the time of the package. So for that I am using the two tasks here, data flow task, obviously we, we need to use this task for reading the data from the Excel source, script task to write some C sharp code to get the message box uh, on how, what are the number of uh, records at the time of the execution of the package. So here yeah, I have one file called city which is in excel format it contains around 500, 500 records. So I want to read the uh, all these uh, number of uh, records and dis display the number of records in number. Currently it has 500 records, 500 rows are there. So I want to display this 500 in the package. So from before that, if you want to show, if you want to know the number of records in any file in Excel, we, we, we use it to write some count star from all these things. But in a, coming to SSS, it is different. So this is my new SSS package. I am dragging data flow task. Double click to configure. Now I am using Excel source. Excel source to read the data from the path. Double click. New. Browse. So city is my our, uh, our document. Okay. You need to select the name of the sheet or number sheet, sheet number sheet one, which is in dollar sign. So configuration is done. Now I want to drag the transformation that we are using. That is row count. Just connect the source to row count. Whenever you click the row count, it will prompt you to select one variable. So, um, we, currently there is no variable. We need to create. Right click, variables, and name the variable. I give the name as uh, uh, RC. That is row count so which is that whose data type is integer okay when you double click again the variable is showed in this drop list drop down list select the variable okay everything is done now we, we want to write some c sharp code for that we are using script task Double click. So whenever you click, it will appear like this. Initially, it asks uh, scripting language. So in in script uh, task, there are two languages. One is Visual C Sharp, and another one is Visual Bash. So I am okay with Visual C Sharp code. So read only variables and read write variables. Now we want to re uh, read the uh, data from the Excel source. For that, we have to take the read only variables. We already created one variable, user variable, that is RC. Uh, others are system variables. So, whatever the uh, user variable we created, we have to select that and it will, uh, it will appear 
in the read only variables after that you have to go to edit script to write the message box c sharp code so we need to write the one line code here Message box dot show in brackets ts dot variables in square bracket you need within double quotes you need to pass the variable name. variable name as this is the individual variable dot value dot to string so end with semicolon message box this is dot show dts dot variables the you, you have to mention the user value user variable name and it to convert it into this to, to string i am saving this code click okay Now, if you run the package, it will appear whatever the number of records that are there in Excel sheet, it will show in the message box. See here, 500 records. So, this is how we use the row count method in a SSS package to know the number of records in any show source document or source file. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you very much.